Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. We've got we got some trailers come out here, Dan. Quite a few. There was only one that really interested us enough to come and bug you about it, guys. What is this, Dan? Yeah, so last year we watched House of the Dragon, and it's time for season two. Absolutely it is. I've been really looking forward to this, mm -hmm. and I hope some of you guys out there have as well. So without any further ado, let's go see what's going on here, guys. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Many weeks ago, my lord husband was alive, and the realm was at peace. On his deathbed, he knew the realm would never accept a queen. Rhaenyra's supporters will believe what they wish. Yeah, they will. But Viserys wanted her gone to succeed Just him. like you will. They wish now mm, not for the good of the realm, those. but for the satisfaction of vengeance. You brought that on yourself, I hope. Not against the king, and I will pay it back a hundred times over. Try. I'm as fearsome as any of them. You have no idea the sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. My uncle is a challenge I welcome. If he dares face me. You say that now. Yeah. We catch him now. prevail and bring forth peace. But you must accept okay. that the path to victory now is one of violence. Good. To war then. No, you should not be happy about that. All my life I've endeavored to serve both my house and the realm. And somehow none of it matters. Hold to your courage for the one true king, Aegon! We'll see. Yeah. His first born child to succeed him. He held to his decision until death. And yet, Alicent's son sits my throne. I mean to fight this war and win it. Permission to ask the kid. The realm will soon tear itself apart. If men do not remember the oath sworn to King Viserys. Up in the north. Look, they're at the wall. Ha <laughs> ha. The high towers are marching. You must crush this beast at its head. Our terms are very simple. Renounce the false king and bend the knee to the queen. Or your house burns. Woo! He's so cold. <laughs> I should burn anyways. The desire to kill traders. and burn takes hold and reason is forgotten. We will not even remember what began the war in the first place. We fight for our queen! If you would have begun. So you didn't start this, they did, when they killed your kid. Man, we've been waiting for that. Looking forward to some of that action. Yes. So apparently all people must choose a side, Daniel. Okay, I choose the blacks. <laughs> I guess if it's going to be like that, then so be it. We're choosing the blacks there. But I got to tell you, you know, it's choosing sides that, that brought this on in the first place. Technically, there was Otto Hightower that chose a side, but still. All right, Otto really initiated a lot of this stuff by trying to use his daughter to gain influence over the throne. Oh, yeah. He succeeded, but now he's in a situation where, you know, his daughter is acting on her own. She's making things worse by protecting her son now, trying to put him on the throne when he wasn't the legitimate heir. And, and unfortunately, a lot of people are going to go along with that. You know, they're not going to accept a woman as leader, and that's going to be to their detriment. And what most people don't know is that technically a woman is still leading. They just don't know it. Right. Aegon's an idiot. Alicent is still there yeah. ruling. She's just doing it with her puppet there, much like Cersei was with Joffrey in Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. So not a whole lot of difference there, guys, but the trailer looks really good. Mm -hmm. Noticed that uh, it looked like uh, Lucerus made it to the wall, and he's there with the... Uh, Oh, I forget who he's talking to from House Stark there. The other the other kid that's about his age, that's that's a Lord of Winterfell right now. Mm -hmm. But it looks like they visited looks like they're visiting the wall. Be interested to see some of the differences there 200 years before the wall fell. Like what's going on right now? How many more are there more people in guard of it at that time? How's it going, you know? I would think there's more people. I would I don't imagine the wall itself is all that different, but there might be a difference in how many people are there. The wall, no, yes, that's that's the big thing there. Yeah. And I know that's such a small part of it, but when you watch Game of Thrones, it's like, man, that that's what sticks with you is 
We spent so much time defending that damn thing. So. And when you see it in Game of Thrones too, it kind of feels like it's falling to the wayside. People are less interested in the surface there. They certainly are. So it's it, it'd be cool to see what it looks like here. Also, it looks like Aemon is already talking about challenging Daemon. Mm -hmm. Aemon shows to be a promising fighter. You know, he handled his cousins, his, uh, his half-brothers, all that in a fight. There's something to be said about that. Yeah. But we're talking about Damon here. This is Damon, the guy who killed the freaking ca crab feeder and his armies. Pretty much ran in single-handedly to do yes. it. Yes. But you're right, it's going to be an interesting fight because on the one hand, Eamon is younger. He's got that in his favor, but, but Damon also has far more experience, like you said. It can He's be been one fighting in wars. They have, yeah. they have interesting experiences that give them an advantage. It'd be curious to see who actually comes out on top in that kind of fight. Yeah, if anybody. Yeah. I'm also really interested to see uh, Lord Strong's son there, the uh, the rat guy there with his crazy foot. Oh, uh, yeah. We didn't see him in the trailer. We didn't see him in the trailer, no. I want to see more of his character development because I think he's he seems like an important character going forward. He's pulling some strings, too. We just don't know what yet. Yeah, he's the one that tipped over the dominoes, mm -hmm. as it were. You know, started really got them like not liking each other, and it's like, man, are you doing this for somebody's benefit or your own, you know? Right. It's kind of like how Littlefinger turned out to be the villain in all of this mm -hmm. for Game of Thrones. It seems like that's the road he's going down, kind of. You're pulling the strings, as you said, to start a war there, so I want to see if he continues to go down that route, that road. Right. Or somebody catches on to him eventually. Yeah. Watch out for blood and cheese, folks. That's coming, too. Yeah. I don't know who's familiar with that part out there, but come episode one, we're all going to be familiar with it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You can count on that. I say, you know the story more than I do, so... Once we get past that part, we're getting into kind of unknown territory for me now. Okay. So, I know vaguely what happens, but not all the ins and outs that lead us to where we get a conclusion. So, really, everything that I knew is kind of in the last season. Okay. It's still the world of A Game of Thrones here. It's still House of the Dragon, and I couldn't be more excited, so... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, didn't see a whole lot of, like, actual fighting there. But I know there's going to be some. It's oh, a yeah. war. It's got to be a war. I'm honestly glad they didn't show it. I, I oh yeah, to... save it for the save it for the movie. Yes, like I want to be like losing my breath because I'm because I'm like shocked right. by what we see, and I bet we are going to be. Oh, I bet. It's probably going to be horrendous. So there's going to be some blood and fire, fam. <laughs> They're coming your way soon. But I think that's going to have to do it for us, fam. Be sure to, as always, if you're brand new. Like, subscribe, hit the bells, check us out on all those things up there, and like and subscribe again. And get ready for House of the Dragon Season 2 on this channel, guys, when it comes out. We might be a little late to the party, but not by much. So, But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys.